What's up guys and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. A lot of crazy things happened in the market today. Uh, GameStop tanked down it open and ran up. AMC had a good day. GEVO just straight up exploded. We have a lot of things to talk about today. Make sure you guys stick around to the end. Like I said, a lot of important things to talk about and a lot of good plays. And guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We post brand new videos every single day but tom we have to talk about gevo this stock is up 37 percent today and there's a lot of hype with it yeah this was a huge move and this hype is really warranted and gevo and cvx are announcing a partnership and they announce a letter of intent to jointly invest in building and operating one or more new facilities that would process now get this they'll process inedible corn to produce sustainable aviation fuel that's a really big thing. And, you know, aviation fuel and just uh, the pollutants that jets and everything put out have been pretty big, you know, and relevant as far as like pollution and everything's concerned. So that's a pretty big deal. If they can kind of get something like that developed with like a, a kind of like a, a better fuel or a cleaner fuel that, that's made out of corn, that would be a really good thing for the aviation sector overall. And I, I'm, I'm thinking that this is a really good move out of Jivo after that type of news. And you know, this news could really change the aviation industry if they end up making something pretty good. So I like it. And man, this is a pretty big hype stock today. For sure. And GEVO, it's not like they're partnering with some no-name company. Like Chevron is a huge, you know, corporation that has uh, obviously a, a giant market cap, but also a lot of influence. So this is a pretty awesome deal for GEVO. Uh, like we said, it's already up 37% today. But if we look back throughout history, it has a track record of really exploding up. So either way, there's a, a ton of hype with this one, a ton of volume, a lot of momentum. So definitely keep it on your radar yeah definitely and as it goes up there's a pretty big resistance around that ten dollar area so watch out for that but there's also a lot of news coming across with disney and also a couple of these other stocks like DraftKings. and man there's been a lot of disney news coming out i know that they've been talking about a possible deal with DraftKings, and that's really sent their stock to the upside over the past few weeks but today espn which is owned by disney their chief said that they've had talks to acquire nfl sunday ticket and that they see nothing but opportunity in the sports betting sector. And that's awesome news. It could be good for DraftKings, uh, Disney, and obviously um, it could be good for, uh, you know, obviously just the whole entire sports betting sector overall, possibly Penn Gaming as well. So it's just good news. And obviously any this could obviously help the DraftKings deal pretty good because he says that there's nothing but opportunity in the sports betting sector. So it seems like that ESPN is trying to get into this type of market or get into that sector as quick as they can. For sure. And I know that Disney was having talks with Caesars and DraftKings. And I'm a huge fan of DraftKings and Disney for the long term. So I'm kind of hoping that they uh, get a partnership sometime soon. But, you know, they both look pretty great. I love them both for the long term. And I'm excited to see how both of them uh, progress. And, you know, especially Disney uh, getting into this sports betting industry. But, Tom, let's talk a little bit more about AMC today. You know, they had some mixed movement at the beginning of the day, but they ended up closing pretty strong. Yeah, and we actually talked about them a lot yesterday, and they kind of fell off yesterday at the end of the day, and they failed to break out back above $48. And today, they actually made a pretty good move up. And I'll tell you, it looks like they're really consolidating here at 49 So maybe watch out for a move above that, because I think we might be able to touch $50 or even higher tomorrow. We've definitely been consolidating around this $48 to $49 resistance for a very long time. And I would really expect a move up sometime soon. Looking at the max daily, AMC had a lot of hype coming into it today. And I'll be honest, the setup looks pretty bullish and it almost looks like a bullish flag to me. I'll go ahead and draw it out here, but you can kind of see how, yeah, there we go. There's the flag and you can kind of see the pole starting down there at around $30. And I would say if we could break 50 or 49, that could be a great move to the upside. And a lot of people I think are gonna start to look at AMC if it starts to break these levels. Yeah, we're getting like really close to that $50 resistance, Tom. I know that's going to be a big, you know, just resistance level on a technical basis, but also a psychological level. So I'm very curious to see if AMC can break above it. Definitely has a lot of momentum right now. And we look at like Clover, they just got smacked today. They're uh, below $10 still. They tried to break that $10 resistance, but just got rejected. Yeah, it was almost like a little bit of a fake out today. You can see they actually broke out a little bit above 10 
as they had a little bit of momentum there, ran up to like 10, 17, and then fell right back below all the way down to $9 now in after hours. I could not believe that they fell below that 925 support at after hours there. That was a pretty bad move, but hopefully it can bounce up here and start to get another move back up. You know, they did just have that big 20% update just a couple days ago, but with them touching $9, they actually almost gave up almost all those gains. So pretty bad move out of Clover. And then if we switch over to BBIG, they actually had a nice move up at the end of the day today, rising up 5%. And this one almost looks like AMC, you know, they're right around resistance. But if we see a breakout, it could be a good move. There we go. So guys, let us know some of your top stocks you're watching, whether it be short squeeze plays or anything. Let us know in the comments down below and we'll probably cover them in the next video. Uh, definitely let us know in the comments down below. And then one last thing I want to talk about was GameStop. Uh, they gapped down pretty big this morning off of their bad earnings or bad earnings reaction, I should say. But they had a really, really good recovery throughout the day and they actually closed green. Yeah, and I saw a decent article on CNBC where they were talking about retail investors really drove this one back up today and bought up the dip. And, you know, they came all the way back up towards that 200 resistance. And if we could break back above there, that would be a decent recovery out of GameStop. And I, th I think that the earnings might not even matter if we get back up above 200. Good stuff. So let's get right into our member of the day. Today's member of the day is Vicky. Huge shout out, Vicky. Thank you so much for just being a super positive and supportive member of Stocked Up. We really appreciate you. So thank you so much, Vicky. Huge shout out to you. But Tom, let's get right into these momentum plays. With the first one, we have DAL to the upside. Yep. And with Delta Airlines, they had a great move up. Make them break out above 4177. All right, and then we have Square to the downside. Yeah, Square puts ended up playing out pretty well today. They they actually ran down below support, make them break below 251.20. All right, and then we have Microsoft also to the downside. Yep, they're finally coming back down, make them fall below 297. That's actually a good even number. All right, so we're watching DAL for a potential day trade to the upside tomorrow, only if it breaks above the level Tom listed. And we are watching Square in Microsoft for potential day trades to the downside tomorrow if they break below the levels Tom listed. But Tom, you know we got to show off that hybrid bot play today. It popped off. So the bot called out Microsoft $297.50 puts at around $237 today, and it popped all the way up to $330 each. So if you want trades like this every single day, you can click that first link in the description down below for daily access to the bots plays, daily swing trades, um, day trades, order flow bots, a great community, and you can cancel at any time. So if you just want to try out the bot for one month, you can definitely check it out. It's that first link in the description down below. But Tom, let's get right into the comments from the previous video. So we have, with the first comment, we're going to be looking at LULU, and we have Raphael saying, great stuff. I know you don't like playing earnings, and I think you mentioned it the other day, but LULU looks like it's making some moves again. Picked up a few 400 strike calls earlier today. Thanks for the great content. Keep up the great work. So all I have to say is, wow, you know, this thing exploded. I really hope your uh, calls did well today. Uh, LULU literally exploded at open. So awesome job, Raphael. Um, just keep in mind, playing earnings is pretty risky, but I'm glad to see that this paid off for you. Yeah, it ended up being a really good play. And kind of like we talked about in the stream this morning, Lulu could could keep going up possibly. You know, we saw a, a continuation out of DKS and a couple other stocks lately as they just keep breaking all-time highs. And I would not be surprised to see Lulu maybe follow in those footsteps and make that similar move back to the upside tomorrow. We'll have to see what ends up going on, but it finally broke out today and looks pretty good. There we go. And then with the next comment, we have Rich saying sold PENN at $83 and made a $2,000 profit and then went all in on Zoom at $294. I just felt something to tell me to do it. Uh, what are you thinking of Zoom south of $295 for the next three months? So awesome job with Penn. Of course, be careful going all in with anything, but I am a fan of Zoom. I think it has a lot of potential over the next couple years. And remember that it is like a longer term play, at least for me. Um, but overall, awesome job with Penn. And Tom, what are you thinking with Zoom? Yeah, it had that big gap down with earnings, but I'll tell you what, they're right around support. And I've been seeing a lot of people like buying it up. You know, there's been a lot of volume lately. 
So I would say that it could have another bounce back up soon. There's a huge support down here, right around 275. As long as we hold that, I think it'll end up being pretty good. Even if we end up holding somewhere around 250, I think it's still decent. And I think that your entry there, 294 is a really good one. And if we start to fill this gap back up over the next few months, you know, you'll obviously be, be uh, very happy you picked up this dip. With the next comment, we have Bravo mentioning UVXY, and he said it might be a conservative move, at least in the case of a drop in the market. So UVXY, guys, if you don't know, when the market tanks, this thing explodes. Just keep in mind that it's not like a good long-term play, but you know if you're looking to hedge yourself or like bet on the market falling, UVXY is a pretty good uh, ETF to trade. Yeah, it's really good. UVXY could end up being great for shares. Keep in mind. They are leveraged, so it's gonna, you know, it's obviously gonna go up and down at a pretty rapid pace. So that's the good thing, you know, if the mar if you time it right and the market starts to fall, it can definitely rise up a good, you know, 20, 30, sometimes 50, even 100 percent if the if the uh, fall in the market is rapid enough, or if the event that makes it fall is scary enough. So there's definitely a lot of different scenarios with it, but it's definitely a good hedge, and uh, I would say right now is a pretty good time to pick some up right around 20 dollars. There we go. So Tom, do you have any last minute stocks, options, or anything you're watching for tomorrow? You know, I'm still keeping my eyes on Clover Health pretty strong. I love how it moved today. Kind of came right back down towards that $9 support. $9 has been a great support over the past few days. And we've now had two kind of pullbacks and we have, we've exhausted that 20% gain already. So I would say if we could start to get a bounce back up tomorrow, it could maybe be a great sign for Clover and Honestly, I think it could possibly happen and we might see a nice little move in pre-market. I just, I really hope that that $9 support ends up holding up. It's a pretty good stock, a lot of hype behind it, and it could be even good for day trading with it only being $9. There we go. So guys, if you are an options trader, definitely check out that first link in the description down below. Daily options, swing trades, day trades, order flow bots, custom bots, you name it, we probably have it. You can cancel it anytime. And even if you want to try it out just for one month, uh, definitely feel free. The bot had an awesome call out today and it's definitely worth trying out at least for one month. Again, it's that first link in the description down below. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe we post brand new videos every single day. But other than that, thanks for watching.